Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Tuesday. I'm back in Dothan. I'm so glad to be back over here. Albany was rough yesterday. So anyway, I've taken my first order. It was $19 on Instacart for about 28 items. It was a shop only and a delivery. So you know we didn't get paid for the shop only, but sometimes you have to take those. I mean, you don't have to, but my market, if you don't, you're probably not going to get anything half the time. I had to refund a couple items. It ended up being $18 and some change. I took a DoorDash for $6 going 2.2 miles from Burger King. I don't usually take anything below $6.50, but it is $0.50 cents and it is only two miles, so why not? I'm going to try to go into November taking the best offer that comes up, even if it's DoorDash. I'm very hesitant sometimes to not take DoorDash because it's DoorDash. So uh, we're not a top dasher this month or last month or ever again, in my opinion, unless it's just a fluke and the orders are just that damn good. On this channel, we cherry pick. I work Monday through Thursday normally from 8 to 5 and then I'm off on the weekends depending on how you know if it's bad or not if it's not if it's not too bad that's what my schedule is if it's terrible we'll work Friday but never the weekend anyway I don't know about you you can comment down below they were out of fat free milk for this lady she also ordered a coffee uh, I, I messaged her her options apple juice or water she never responded and by the time I got the food I'm out the door uh, she still hasn't responded but I don't I don't wait around for stuff like that you you order you should have the app near you simple as that I'm not gonna sit there and wait to hear your response so she got water you can't go wrong with water unless you just hate water I don't know I hate apple juice so I would have been upset if you brought me apple juice but it would have been my fault if I didn't respond to the app all right guys I got a $13 order Instacart for Publix it was only a few items knocked it out got to the last item and they sent me an add-on twenty dollars for 0.8 miles 28 items so i couldn't turn it down right so that makes it 33 dollars but what if you're that person you know you maybe you're following along stalking your shopper you see him take another order would you be mad comment down below i mean and also to top that off uh, i shopped that other order and it's the first drop off so the guy's got to wait for me to drop off that order for me to come drop his off so just, just let me know down below. Would you, would you be upset? <laughs> I just, um, I'm just kind of surprised to be honest with you. All right, guys. So I decided to go the route of food delivery to lunch so far. I took an Uber Eats for about eleven dollars for three miles, I think it was, and then I got a DoorDash for six fifty. It turned into seven dollars and some change. That was from Tropical Smoothie. Now I'm on a DoorDash order from Hot's Deli. It's two orders for ten fifty. I know there's no potential hidden tip. This lady told me to let me know when I got here. The customer requested you hand them the order. And she told me she'd hand me an extra tip, so we'll find out. All right, she said knock at the door, but she took forever. She said she didn't hear me. Although her dog was two, two inches from my legs barking at me. So. <laughs> Little tiny dog. Then I found out the dog was deaf, so I've been talking to a deaf dog the whole time. <laughs> Anyway, she did tip me extra. I got a $5 bill, so she tips $3.50 in the app. Even though she said she couldn't tip in the app, that's why she's giving me cash. So I don't, I don't know. It's kind of weird. So $8.50 tip on that, $2 base pay because, you know, I'm taking a double, so they take away $0.50 cents from each order. Because you're taking a double for them makes no sense at all. They've been doing that since I've been on the platform, so it, it doesn't make any sense. It's just a way to screw you out of a dollar is all it is declining a multitude of DoorDash offers. Uh, my AR is around 6% now. I've got a Walgreens order for $9.50 going about three miles, four items, and knock it out real quick. All right, well, that was pretty easy. It's like I said, it was only four items. So I, I picked it up. The items had to be substituted. She was not answering, so I substituted it for her. Basically, she wanted 24 pills of uh, urinary tract infection, pain relief or something. And so I got her two 12 packs. Not that this is any even important but I wanted to let you guys know what process I went through. I know in the past when you hit item unavailable it just like they didn't get shit so so now I was able to actually scan something and add another quantity so I added two boxes. I got my Uber Eats uh, tip back it went up so that, that order actually was 1246 or something like that. I apologize for the shakiness. Uh, this phone is obviously heavier than my other phone and I don't, I don't know why it's shaking so much. It shouldn't be like this but I will figure it out. Probably not today, but I'll figure it out. <laughs> so anyway, my dash has ended. This is carried over until I can, you 
do an early dash. My next schedule is 12.30 to 1.30. It's 12.12 now, so when I drop this off, I'll be able to hit dash now again. Probably wait till I get to the plaza, though, so I don't get any trash orders. We're going to get trash orders anyway, but I'm, I'm trying to help myself out and not get maybe so many. But we are talking about DoorDash. Took another DoorDash from Mama Goldberg's. It was 6.50 going half a mile. It was very quick. It was ready when I got there. Unlike the Wendy's order that I took that I highly regret taking for 6.50, I haven't dropped it off yet. It's going to somebody that I usually drop off to that usually tips more. We'll find out. Yeah, it was just, it took too long. All right, man. Well, this Tuesday became a Tuesday pretty quick. <laughs> it slowed down like a lot. Like I'm not getting any offers uh, until I got this DoorDash offer. It's, it's 24.49 for 7.5 miles, 18 items. Shouldn't take too long. But most importantly, it, it beats sitting around. I had another shopper pull up next to me, Pam, who was having no luck either for the past hour or so. Got a lot of bad offers from DoorDash for a period there, and then I got nothing from anyone for a while, maybe maybe like 15, 20 minutes. So, so glad to see this offer. It's getting close to calling it a day because I just do not like sitting around for long periods of time. But let's go do some shopping for DoorDash and knock this out. All right, guys, I ended the day with $153 roughly, and I'm at 202 for the week. It was a bad Monday that I had with the doctor's appointment. Um, so anyway, good good day for Tuesday. This, these Tuesdays can be hit and miss. Like I say, one's good, one's bad. And luckily, this one just kind of picked up and stayed fairly decent for the whole day. We're out of the gate with like like a rocket. I mean, it's, it was going off and then just kind of died. So hopefully everything uh, for the rest of the week will pan out. Appreciate you guys being here. Couldn't do this without you guys. Thanks for watching my channel. I will see you next time. Take care.